The following is an editorial opinion and does not necessarily reflect the views of Jewish TV channel and its staff. Welcome to a Jewish TV channel exclusive. What Others Won't Say with Thane Rosenbaum. Before there was even a constitution, John Adams envisioned America as a government of laws and not men. By that he meant that the whims of a king will be forever replaced by an adherence to a set of laws. For nearly 250 years, the United States has been an imperfect experiment in democracy. But even when we failed, we believed that the rule of law should define and guide our nationhood. We know that is no longer true. Today, laws are held in contempt. We are living through an age of lawlessness and disorder. In major cities across the United States, New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, and San Francisco, crime is up, residents are leaving, the tax base is shrinking, and cultural offerings are at risk of disappearing. Whole Foods and Nordstrom's have shuttered their doors in downtown San Francisco. After decades of relative safety, New Yorkers are once again fearful of the dangers that lurk in the subways, the kind of urban menace that almost caused the city to default in the 1970s. We see widespread looting in daylight during rush hour in front of stunned shoppers. No one gets caught. And if they do, they are immediately released. The legal system incentivizes repeat offenders with cashless bail and drop charges. Serious crimes have been downgraded to low level offenses that never get prosecuted. That means some crimes are no longer crimes. Progressive mayors and district attorneys don't like the look of prison populations overrepresented by people of color. Enforcing the law is tantamount to oppression. Looking the other way is the easiest way to manufacture fairness and equity. Then there's the matter of our southern border. In the past two years, 3.5 million people have entered the United States illegally. The government is not stopping them. We have no border on our southern border. Immigration laws still apply, but not anywhere near the Rio Grande. If you're a law-abiding engineer from Norway who wants to become an American, good luck to you. Now, surely only a small number of migrants passing through Mexico are foot soldiers in some drug cartel or rapists or murderers, but some inevitably are. Why are they receiving a green light that's even better than a green card? One thing all these lawbreakers have in common is that they are largely persons of color. Progressives will say that white people have had the run of this country since its inception, and the fate of dispossessed Native Indians and enslaved Africans was surely not an achievement of American democracy. And they're right. Diversity and equity are course corrections. Moving forward, America will be less white and therefore less privileged. All professions, corporations, schools, elections, even movies and television will more accurately reflect and represent the people who live here. John Adams wouldn't approve. We have become a nation ambivalent about law while fixated on identity. And it has led to a new form of tyranny, gender neutral, of course, more diverse and racially balanced for sure, but not really in alignment with American ideals. Thane Rosenbaum for the Jewish TV channel. What Others Won't Say is written and produced by Thane Rosenbaum. Thank you for listening to Jewish TV channel, the voice of Jewish communities worldwide.